This is the application of Bayer's word law to find the magnetic field along the axis of a solenoid. Let this is a solenoid of length L and radius A. And so it we imagine it consists a large number of small ring element of with dx and because we know that for a single ring or single turn d b equals to magnetic field equals to mu naught i a square by 2 r cube where r be the distance between the perimeter to the point of measurement so we can imagine the the total dx elements uh, cover whole cylinder we repeat with repeat repetition uh, so for if sing for single uh, turn b equals to mu naught i a square by 2 r cube so if there will be n number of turns then magnetic field should be mu naught i a square into number of turn by 2 r cube so take the small element dx the magnetic field equals to db equals to mu naught i a square by 2 r cube into number of turn number of turn equals to num dx into number of turn per unit length dx into capital N by L so this is the number of turn uh, in dx and mu naught i a square n by 2l dx by r cube in this case r equals to radius is root over radius square plus this value this value the total o to p equals to l and this uh, h to this small element dx equals to also a so remaining is l minus x so that l minus x whole square plus a square whole to the power 3 by 2 so we take integration b equals to mu naught i a square n by 2l integration of 0 to l because total length equals to capital L 0 to l dx by l minus x whole square as a square whole to the power 3 by 2 so after integrating we get mu naught i a square n by 2l into x minus l or l minus x by root over of l minus x whole square plus a square limit 0 to l so putting this limit we get b equals to mu naught i by mu naught i a square n by 2l into putting the value of limit we get small l by our l square plus a square plus l minus l by root over capital L minus A sorry L minus small L whole square plus A square so this is our solution we can put this result in terms of theta that is B equals to mu naught I A square N by L into L by root over L square plus A square equals to cos theta 1 from the figure cos theta 1 and another is cos theta 2 so this is the result so finally the result is that b equals to mu naught i a square n by l cos theta 1 plus cos theta 2 for infinite infinite Night cylinder finite cylinder theta 1 equals to theta 2 equals to 0 so this implies b equals to mu naught 
an i by l and there is another condition may be if p be at any end any end then theta 1 equals to 90 degree and uh, theta 2 equals to 0 corresponding to 0 so this is b equals to mu naught an i by 2l so you can plot this also if this is the direction of x and this is the direction of b this is the point p so if at point p this is mu naught n i by l at l by 2 this gives the half value by 2l and the decreasing this is mu naught n i by 2l this indicates